differences between grouped data and ungrouped data, with cross comparisons and examples. Grouped data versus ungrouped data. Definition 1 of grouped data is that it is the data that has been organized into groups such as frequency distribution, while the ungrouped data has not been organized into groups called as raw data. Definition 2 of grouped data is when raw data are grouped into classes. It is termed as grouped data. While data that is gathered for the first time during a study or experiment is termed as ungrouped data. Synonyms of grouped data is secondary data while synonyms of ungrouped data is raw data. Classification of grouped data are organized into classes while there is no form of organization in ungrouped data. Grouped data are preferred when analyzing data while ungrouped data are preferred when collecting data. The group data has higher accuracy levels when finding mean and median while the ungrouped data has less accurate in determining mean and median. Frequency tables are mostly used in group data while lists are used in ungrouped data. Group data are summarized in frequency distribution while ungrouped data are not able to summarize in frequency distribution. The traits of grouped data Group data means the data, or information, given in the form of class intervals such as 0 to 10 and 10 to 20 and so on. Group data are data formed by aggregating individual observations of a variable into groups, so that a frequency distribution of these groups serves as a convenient means of summarizing or analyzing the data. The traits of ungrouped data. Ungrouped data is the data that has not been placed in any group or category after collection. Ungrouped data is the data given as individual points such as 15, 53, 34, 20, 25, and so on. Data which has not been put in any of the categories is ungrouped. For example, when conducting census and you want to analyze how many women above the age of 45 are in a specific area and know how many people reside in that area. The advantages of group data are many such as it helps in improving the efficiency of estimations. It allows for greater balancing of statistical power of tests of the differences between strata by analyzing equal number from strata. Inapt subpopulations are ignored while the significant ones are focused on while. The advantages of grouped data are many such as ungrouped data are used by most people because can easily interpret it. When the sample size is small, it is easy to calculate the mean, mode and median. Ungrouped data does not require technical expertise to analyze it. Example of grouped data. There are two types of grouped data such as discrete frequency distribution and continuums frequency distribution and the formulas of mean for both types of grouped data are given. While in example of ungrouped data, which is not yet organized and in raw form and its mean formula is also given which is different from formulas of mean for grouped data. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper thanks for watching.